Hi, my name is Julianne, and today I'm here to tell you about how NaNoWriMo has gone this month. This is like, you know, my NaNoWriMo wrap-up video, whatever you want to call it. I just want to say, I won! I won! I got 50,000. I'm just really excited because I won. This month was kind of easy. Like, it's so weird how, I don't know, like, I wrote 4,000 words in one day just so easily. I looked at the word count and I'm like, how, where was I when I wrote all these words? Like, it was so weird how, like, I wrote so much in, like, on a day. And, you know, I thought I wasn't going to make it. Because my goal was to be done on the 25th and I finished on the 24th. I was falling behind, not, like, total total word count I was pretty much set. But, like, every day, like, sometimes days I wasn't writing that much. I wrote every day, though. Because um, even some days I wrote, like, literally a sentence. Um, a lot of times, like, there was, like, I don't know, maybe, like, five good days of just writing less than a thousand words. Like, it was, you know, I wasn't doing that well sometimes, but I somehow always caught up, and I always stayed ahead of, like, you know, that line in, on the website where it's just, like, oh, you need to be at this amount. I was always above that line, so I always felt proud of myself for that. And, yeah, my book is done. And I actually, it was done at 47,000 words, roughly. So, like, the day before finishing, it was, like, a Monday. So, Monday, um, I came up with an, a story idea. It's really good, like, in my mind. I'm not going to say the story idea because I don't, like, want anyone to steal it. And it's set in the same world as the book I'm writing now, um, with that series, but it has nothing to do with those characters at all. Yeah, so I started working on that book. Um, because I'm like, wh why work on anything else? Like, it just popped up in my mind and I'm like, I want to start writing it. So I have like 3,000-ish words for that story. I think I'm going to continue working on it for the rest of November because it's the 25th now. But once November is over, I'm going to work on finishing rewriting for the third time, <laughs> rewriting my first book. And then later I can edit the second book, which is the book that I worked on this month and got the 47,000 words done for it because it really needs editing. Like, I just wrote a bunch of stuff and I'm like, yeah, that's, like, I will, I literally wrote down lines where I'm like, I know I'm deleting this later. So I finished on a Tuesday, the 24th, and I just want to say, you know, like, that day was just such a good day, for one thing, but it was such a good day, okay? Because, like, I went to Barnes & Nobles, um, well, I had one class that day. I went to Barnes & Nobles, um, like really close like across the street it's so nice so I biked over there because I don't have a car and you know I went in there I looked around at all these books so it was nice because I just love lo just looking at all these books I can't buy um and then you know I went I went down to Starbucks and I just ordered myself some coffee and I sat down and I, I wrote and I got to 50,000 words because I was like 47,000 so I sat, to, sat there and wrote the last 3,000 words and I got it validated and it was just, I, I wasn't, I couldn't freak out in the store so I went into the bathroom and I just kind of just was like, I just want, I just want, and no one was in there so like, it, it wasn't weird. Then I went back upstairs because I'm like, why not just look at books again because I literally look at all these books so many times and I just like take pictures of every single book I want. I have so many pictures of books and so I'm just walking around and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy a book. I went in there thinking, don't buy a book, don't buy a book. Okay, you don't have money, don't buy a book. You can't trust me in Barnes and Nobles because like I, ha if I have enough money to buy a book, I do. I I, I just can't buy it, not buy a book. It's a problem. Like literally every time I go into Barnes and Nobles, I come out holding a book. Every every time. So I got this book, Fall Falls the Sha Falls the Shadow, by Stephanie. Gather, 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 Stephanie G. Yeah, isn't that cool? Cause like, look, like you know, normal, normal face, screaming, but I couldn't help myself. Cause I've been eyeing this book for so long, and then I was like, I, I just, I, I need. Cause I, I don't know what. Cause I didn't know the synopsis, but I know I've seen it like someone hauled it or something, and I just remember. Cause like I don't remember like synopsises, but I do remember like the feeling of, oh yeah, I wanted that book, but then I forget everything about it. Like my face, you should have seen it. I was just like, 
when so I was reading and it's like when Kate Benson was a kid her sister died two hours after the funeral Kate's family picked up Violet's replacement and it was like nothing had happened and I was like what the heck so I just kept reading and yeah and this is about clones or something oh yeah this girl she's like um she's she's kind of exactly like her sister Kate's sister and everything and then but you know she also might have murdered the most popular girl in school and I was like okay yes clones murder I must know what this book is about and it just seems really cool like the cover is just so cool I love the shadows you know like the way like it's just really cool so that was my mini book haul yeah it was an overall good day I went home and I caught, caught got all caught up on my shows. I got caught up in iZombie and Supernatural. And then it went downhill with the uh, episode of Scorpion. The one with the hospital and, you know, um, with Outbreak. Y y if you've seen the episode, you know. You know. So that episode happened. And um, then I, then, then it uh, got, my day ended on a more positive note, I finally started season two of Ruby. It's so good. I have like 45 more minutes left of the season. <laughs> Cause on Netflix they put it all together into one thing. So like the entire season is like two hours and something minutes long. I'm almost done. And it's so good. If you haven't watched Ruby, you need to watch it. Yes, it's animated, whatever. They look like, it literally looks like a trailer for a video game, but that it doesn't matter it's so funny it's so good it, oh, the fight scenes are so, the best fight scenes i've seen in an animation probably the best fight scenes ever because like you can do things that um actual people can't do although let's just say alias has some pretty good fight scenes for like real people and then animation wise ruby has the best fight scenes like oh my goodness it's that show is just so good you need to go watch it and by the way when i it's R-W-B-Y, there's a reason for it, why it's spelled that way, but it's pronounced Ruby. Oh, and it's just so funny. Oh my goodness. So, that ended my night on a more positive note. So, overall, Tuesday was a great day getting that 5K, or 50K, not 50, not 5, but yeah, that 50K, reached it, it's awesome. So, yeah, that was my wrap up video. Yeah, NaNoWriMo was pretty good this year, surprisingly. Like, I mean, last year I failed. Not my spring, got 43,000, so. But it's just like, I don't know, like this month, it just, NaNoWriMo I just killed it. Like, it's so weird. And yeah, just being able to reach 50,000 words in 24 days really just puts things in perspective that I can write faster than, you know, I previously thought yeah i hope nanorama is going great for everyone else and you guys win and i mean and when i say win i don't mean just getting to 50k but you're writing you're you're writing your story and you lo you're loving your story and everything and like your story is going going good you know like it's not always about reaching 50k like my story was done at 47,000 words you know like maybe with editing it'll be more maybe it'll be less i don't really know it's less about words and more about just getting your story out there so on that inspirational note Bye.